Hi guys, Becca Boogs back with a kind of embarrassing large Sephora haul. I went a little cray cray, got permission from the husby to just spend money. <laughs> um, this is an accumulation of two Sephora trips and one online order. Um, as you all know, recently there was the Sephora VIB sale where VIB and Rouge members got 15% off. So whenever that happens, it's like this little alien crawls into your brain in the middle of night and is like, spend lots of money on makeup. No. So you kind of have to do it. So I gone and did it. Um, so let's get started. There's a, a lot. So if this is going to be kind of a long video, so I apologize ahead of time. So get yourself some snacks, get some popcorn, soda, some raisinets, whatever floats your boat. So first things first, I have been waiting for this to come out. I am, of course, addicted and obsessed thoroughly with Miss Kat Von D because she is just an amazing individual. So I had to pick up the Shade and Light Contour Eye Palette. So this is the palette, right her. There we go. It is an all matte eye contour palette. Um, I am really, really loving the um, warmer tones in here. This color here, which is a nice big old fat pan of color. Love this color. It's called a... Uh... Of course, none of the names are easy. Um, late, latest, latest, lightest, latest. I don't know, whatever. It's this one right here. Bam. Oh, focus. Whatever. Camera doesn't want to focus. It's all cool. Um, this shade and light contour eye palette came with this nice little fancy insert that kind of breaks it down for ya. It'll show you the base, the contour, the what is that? Define and the highlight. So each one is kind of broken down into a quad. These are the, you know, the looks you can potentially achieve if you are able to do so. Um, she also released the eye brush with this. I didn't get it. I kind of wish I did it, did, did it, did it. Kind of wish I did it. Um, just because I do have the contour brush for the face. I absolutely love it, but I didn't think it was completely necessary that I needed it because I have enough brushes as is, but it might be a purchase in the future. Um, I also picked up my first NARS product. I've been using it, so it's kind of dirty. I got myself a little NARS highlight in Albatross. This thing is amazing. Look at this. Oh, not that, but look at this. It's an amazingly gold, just shimmery goodness. Don't look at my ratchet nails either. It, my gel grew out, so I try to salvage them by putting glitter at the base. Whatever. I'll get my nails done this weekend when I have time. But I do have that highlight on today. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of broken out right now. It's a shark week. You know how it is. Uh, what else did I get? I also picked up, I'm obsessed with eyeshadow. I'm, I'm an eyeshadow junkie, so anytime a new palette comes out that catches my eye, <laughs> put intended, um, I will buy it. So I got the Too Faced Sugar Pop eyeshadow palette. Oh, there's no mirror. <laughs> so this is that one. Why is it my camera want to focus on anything? Okay, whatever. That This is the palette. Um, it's, I guess it's three steps, three looks, and three minutes is the little pamphlet in here. Um, I haven't even attempted to open this. I've just been playing with it. The main reason I picked up this palette was because of this orange color macaroon and the pink color bubblegum. They just drew me, like magnetized me to the palette because I'm, I'm a color whore. Let me look at my eye right now. <laughs> yes. Um, really, really like this palette. It's one of my first Too Faced palettes I own. I have one other, and it's a really old one, and I really did not like it. This, this old, this oldie. Um, I did not like this, so I had a bad taste in my mouth when it came to Too Faced because 
these shadows were like so not pigmented. So I wasn't, I've been reluctant since then to purchase anything Too Faced, but this thing, pigmented, buttery, easy to blend out, it's, I was impressed. So I will be purchasing more Too Faced products in the future. Um, oh my God, I have a lot. I did do a repurchase of my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Um, it is the kind of brush tip liquid liner that she has. It's not felt, it is brush tip. Um, I go through this like crazy. I use it every day. It's how I get focus. <laughs> That's how I get my wings. Yes, the wings. Speaking of wings, you can see I have this nice white line. This nice white line was also achieved da -da -da, with Kat Von D ink liner with a felt tip. Um, she recently released like six or eight colors in this. Um, she originally only had black, but she released like an like a olive green, like a deep blue with turquoise, um, purple, slate gray, and white. I don't know who needs to have white liquid eyeliner, but I do. Um, it is white. Like, let me just show you. Focus. This is white. There we go. So you can see. This is a true white liquid eyeliner. Amazing. It has the resistance cap thingy, so it'll always stay moist. The tip will never dry, and it has a little shaker ball. So if it's getting dried out, you just shake out the product. Love it. This is the first time I used it today, but with all her eyeliners, it sticks throughout the day. Um, it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. It's like cement on your face. So that was that. Um, <laughs> another Kat Von D product. What is that, number four? Um, I did get one of her Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in Lolita. I do have the Lolita lipstick, um, so I, I've never tried these liquid lipsticks of hers. Um, I guess they're a matte formula, normal doe foot applicator. It is kind of like a deep rose toned brownie, kind of, kind of reminds me of a chola color, but I haven't used it yet. I'm looking forward to using it. I know like it's springy, summertime, you should be using bright colors on your lips, but I do it on all. Don't tell me what to do. But yeah, I like that. Um, another repurchase is Laura Mercier's Secret Concealer in number three. And I've dabbled in concealers lately. I've been using the LA, LA Girls, LA Splash, LA something. LA Girls Pro Conceal. And I use that today just because it's cheap um, in combination of Bye Bye Under Eyes by It Cosmetics in the color Neutral Medium. And nothing has worked nearly as well as this little concealer. Um, it's definitely a little bit pricier. It's like 24, 28 bucks. Um, it's a really creamy formula. It almost feels like a moisturizer as you're putting it on your eye. Hello. So you can see I've used it once since I purchased it. It definitely does cancel out my under eye circles, so that's what I need. And then to pair with that, I also purchased the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers talk about this since I already have used her concealer. I figured might as well try this in um, combination with that. This will focus. Oh, whatever, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, it's this little pot. Um, when I went, when I went, um, I couldn't find it, and I was like, <sighs> I came here to spend money. I knew what I wanted, and where is it? And the shelf was empty, and the spot was supposed to be in. And apparently, they stock it in two spots in the Laura Mercier section. I, it doesn't make sense, but they do that. Um, more things I bought. Let's get into this. I also bought a dual ended bite lipstick in Fig and Date. Um, I love their formula. It's moisturizing, it's pigmented, it's expensive. 
But these little dual 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 ended dual ended lipsticks um, are cheap. Like this little guy is like at the counter, and there's like another one that has like orange and pink color, and like a pinky and a purple color. I have the pink and purple. It's like Palomino and excuse me. See, it's not too small and or big. Um, the other one is in Palomino and Violet. But they're a really creamy formula, like I said. These little guys are $12. It's a good way to try the product without investing in like a full size lipstick. Um, and I think their full size is like 20 bucks or something crazy. So definitely get these guys. And then during the holiday season, they do release like sets, get little multiple things. Um, I try that out too, but these are a good purchase. 12 bucks, can't go wrong. Um, I also picked up an expensive eyeshadow primer. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know, conflicted because I am a true diehard Milani eyeshadow primer lover, but I don't know why, but I had to try this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer primer potion it's a potion um, and I got it in Eden it's different than the original formula it's um the original formula is more of like a transparent like you put it on and it like melts into your eye this one is more pigmented and look at the cute bottle they changed it so it's no longer well no longer this is a different one it's kind of yellow like beigey. Do you see that? It's like. So, if you have darker skin, don't get this because it's gonna make your eye look weird. It's gonna look too yellow and too much like you just smacked concealer on your eye that doesn't match. Um, but for medium to light skin tones, I would suggest trying it. So far, I've liked it. It hasn't creased on me, um, it's performed well. It better for $18, whatever the heck it costs. Another thing I purchased, um, I was so excited when I saw it on the shelf because I got an email about it like two weeks before the, the VIB sale. And when I went back online to purchase it again during the VIB sale, they took it down. And I was like, Ugh, I should have bought it when it was there. But it was sitting on a shelf in the store and I got it. I got this. It is the Beauty Blender and Benefit Combo Pack. I don't know. It was in stores. It's no longer available online. So if you can find it sitting in a store, I would get it. I believe it was $32. And inside, I'm in the dark. Huh. Inside, you get two full size beauty blenders. A really good size um, professional and a Benetint, but these guys alone are like 18 bucks. So one beauty beauty blender, one beauty blender alone in store is 18 bucks, and there's two in here. So basically, what you pay for two beauty blenders, you're getting a really good size professional um, sample size, I guess, and a Benetint can't go wrong and what I'm recording I told them what I was doing earlier what are you doing oh no it's squishing it I'll go back in what are you doing this guy okay <sighs> if it's still there I'd scoop this up because it's a freaking steal the end um another thing I ordered online this is number three in eyeshadow palettes I'm not addicted Anastasia's I despell it 
Um, I've never purchased an Anastasia anything before, so this is a first for me. Um, this is what I'm wearing today on my eyes, and I actually really like their shadows. Now I know why, like, all the fancy, well-known YouTubers are like, Ugh, Anastasia. Um, because it's good. It, it's good shit. Ah, the brush just fell out. Let me pick it up with my toes. <laughs> Lazy fat people do things with their feet. Hmm. This is it. It has a lot of, like, good range of colors. If this will focus. So you kind of got some neutrals, you got some bright ass colors, some more bright ass colors, some neutrals, and some neutrals. Um, there's one, two, three, four, four matte colors. Um, the rest are shimmers. Total 12 colors in there. It does come with a little brush, which is actually a really nice brush. I've used it today, dual ended. This cut, this end, this little fluffy end, reminds me of a Sigma E40 brush. So, hmm, not bad. Um, so the look I did today was using that. And the Kat Von D liners that I purchased. I feel like a, I don't know, kind of like a sea creature or something. I look at Cleopatra in the 80s. I don't know. I got that. What else? Oh, and guys, anytime you go to Sephora and you make a purchase, whether it's big or small, ask for free samples. They're there. Take advantage of them. I have like a basket. I have a basket of free samples that I poured. Because I mean, you never know when you're going to need a deep conditioner or a a Dior Skin Face Primer or some more Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, a little Amazonian clay, a little hair mask, you know what I mean? Like, they're at the counter for a reason, so ask for them. Um, I feel like nobody, every time I go, like the people in front of me never ask, and I always do, and I kind of feel like a cheap ass, excuse me, but um, I am. <laughs> I hardly get to spend money like that. So when I do, you better believe I'll be getting a handful of free samples with it. Um, what else? Oh, a big purchase. So, I got this gift set. So, one bottle of the Viva La Juicy Le Fleur. 2.5 ounces was 72 bucks. They had two of these left on the shelf. And as you can see, it comes with a travel spray, the 2.5 two, two, two ounce bottle of perfume, and like this little mini guy. So, might as well pick this up, right? Comes with two extra little free bottles. It's like free samples with the purchase. Um, this was 72 bucks. There's only one left in my store besides this one. It was the only, um, it was the only Viva La Juicy gift set. And then, I think that's everything. I felt like I actually got through that kind of quick, which is good. That's less editing for me. Um, I did get some drugstore things recently too. Um, what I'm also wearing on my face today is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Combo. I'll probably do a review on this after wearing it for like at least a week or two. Um, I normally use Makeup Forever HD foundation, which is amazing, but it's expensive. So, yeah. But that is it. If you guys want a tutorial on my eye look today, or on the Cat Body palette, Sugar Pop palette, the Anastasia palette, um, I'm like, did I buy another palette? I didn't. Um, let me know, comment down below, thumbs it up, like this video, uh, I feel like I'm saying I'm a lot, it's late, I feel like I'm losing my voice, I feel like a man, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by, taking the time to watch this video, um, please subscribe as always, and I should hopefully not be in such a long hiatus next time I post a video. Um, 
Thank you guys for watching, and Boogs is out of this place. Bye!